Female she doesn't hold that. It is trash. Matter of fact, it's below trash. It is a dumpster fire that a bunch of hobos had a circle jerk over. Mainstream media and government give us extremes like Pearl, who is an Uncle Tom to all women, or Jada Pinkett Smith, who is literally the epitome of female narcissism. Mm -hmm. Where we do have intelligent women like Candace Owens, they only put their little puppet in front of our face where it furthers whatever gender her sponsor is trying to promote. Cardi B literally took a dump on Instagram Live and we laughed this indecency off. Kim K sucked her way to a billion dollar bandwagon just so her and her plastic husband hopping sisters could collectively make us feel physically inadequate. So we're perpetually chasing this bad bitch image, which by the way, got every single one of them dumped, divorced, ditched, or cheated on on national television for our viewing pleasure, by the way. And if that's not bad enough, you turn into the VMA, where every female performer is reciting slut rap half naked, scissoring their counterpart or twerking on stage. The only feminists that do gain any traction are bull dykes that hate men while simultaneously trying to look like one, or transgender women who are attempting to eliminate the classification of women while bashing men, introducing this new form of misogyny that I can't even begin to wrap my fucking head around all under the guise of fake tits and wigs. And to further that ridiculousness, they give Bruce Jenner the Woman of the Year right. Award, where he goes on stage with his stick and berries still flopping around under his ball gown to tell women the biggest <laughs> challenge they face is figuring out what to wear. Oh, Not God. unequal pay, sexual harassment, domestic violence, or victim-blaming rape survivors. No, no, it's what skims to pair with your ball gown. Are you fucking kidding me? And then the women who do represent us want us to idolize transactional sexuality in the name of empowerment just so they could turn around and worship a former incel proclaiming himself an alpha male because he worked out and made some money off of a podcast they'll pass on a good man who's romantic respectful emotionally intelligent all because they're equally yoked him in way of finances which by the way is the right that we fought for just so we could turn around and demasculinate men on the premise of their fucking wallet make this make sense and all of this is at the hands of mainstream media and American government propagating women to such a deplorable point that the genders are now divided. We have eliminated chivalry, romance, and practical gender roles right. just so we could double <coughs> down on the slave force and destabilize the American family, turning everybody into a never-ending ATM that they only withdraw from until we shrivel up and die on a fixed income that couldn't sustain any remnants of a happy and healthy life. Tell me what I missed. Get on. Tell me what I got wrong. On point. Please.